Bangkok, the capital of Thailand where is plenty of beautiful temples. And one of the famous temple in Bangkok, that expands its reputation worldwide is Wat Phra Chet Upon Wimon Mangkalaram, Rajwarama Hoi Han, or, better known in general is, Wat Po. Wat Po, the temple of the reclining Buddha, or Wat Phra Chet Upon, is right behind the temple of the Emerald Buddha. It's a must-see for any first-time visitor to Bangkok, as one of the largest temple complexes in the city. It's famed for its giant reclining Buddha, that is 46 meters long, covered in gold leaf. And an equally famous temple that is, Wat Arun, or Wat Cheng, the temples of Bangkok's most famous landmarks, and known from many postcards. Wat Arun is best known for its massive prong, a tower on the Chaofa River Bank, built in Khmer architectural style. The prong, with its height of more than 80 meters is the highest in Thailand. Wat Po and Wat Arun have legends about giants. The story taking place here, Tat Yen. Tat Yen is regarded as one of the old areas of Bangkok. Tat Yen is located nearby Wat Po. But, before we know the legend about giants, let's get to know Wat Po and Wat Arun go through these stories first. Wat Po that is where we start. Wat Po is a Buddhist temple complex in the Phranakhan district, Bangkok, Thailand. It is on Ratanakosan Island, directly south of the Grand Palace. Known also as the Temple of the Reclining Buddha, its official name is Wat Phra Chet Upon Weeman Mankalaram Rajwaramahayahan. The more commonly known name, Wat Po, is a contraction of its older name, Wat Po Taram. The temple is first on the list of six temples in Thailand, classed as the highest grade of the first class royal temples. It is associated with King Rama I, who rebuilt the temple complex on an earlier temple site. It became his main temple, and is where some of his ashes are enshrined. The temple was later expanded, and extensively renovated by Rama III. The temple complex houses, the largest collection of Buddha images in Thailand, including a 46 meters long reclining Buddha. The temple is considered the earliest center, for public education in Thailand. And the marble illustrations, and inscriptions placed in the temple, for public instructions has been recognized, by UNESCO in its memory of the world programmer. It houses a school of Thai medicine, and is also known as the birthplace of traditional Thai massage, which is still taught and practiced at the temple. Wat Po is regarded as the most pagoda temple in Thailand, with approximately 99 pieces. In tourism Wat Po was the 24th most popular tourist destination in the world in 2006, with 8,155,000 tourists visiting that year. Wat Po in history built since the Ayutthaya period, but there is no evidence of its creation, but it is assumed that it was built after 1688, during the reign of King Narai the Great. After the fall of Ayutthaya, in 1767 to the Burmese, King Toxin moved the capital to Thonburi, where he located his palace beside Wat Arun, on the opposite side of the Chao Phraya River from Wat Po. The proximity of Wat Po to this royal palace elevated it to the status of a Wat Wang or royal monastery. In 1782, King Rama I moved the capital from Thonburi across the river to Bangkok and built the Grand Palace adjacent to Wat Po. In 1788, he ordered the construction and renovation at the old temple site of Wat Po, which had by then become dilapidated. The site, which was marshy and uneven, was drained and filled in before construction began. During its construction King Rama I also initiated a project to remove Buddha images from abandoned temples in Ayutthaya, Sukhothai, as well other sites in Thailand. 
and many of these retrieved Buddha images, were kept at Wat Po. These include the remnants of an enormous Buddha image. From Ayutthaya's Wat Pasri Sunpet destroyed by the Burmese in 1767. And these were incorporated into a Chedi in the complex. The rebuilding took over seven years to complete. In 1801, twelve years after work began, the new temple complex was renamed for a Chet upon Vima Mankala Was, and it became the main temple for Rama I. Wat Po is one of the largest and oldest Wats in Bangkok covering an area of 50 rai or 80,000 square meters. It is home to more than 1,000 Buddha images, as well as one of the largest single Buddha images at 46 meters or 151 feet in length. The Wat Po complex consists of two walled compounds bisected by Chetufan Road, running in the east west direction. The larger northern walled compound, the Pudawat, is open to visitors, and contains the finest buildings dedicated to the Buddha, including the Bhat with its four directional Vihan, and the temple housing the reclining Buddha. The southern compound, the Sunkawat, contains the residential quarters of the monks and a school. The perimeter wall of the main temple complex has 16 gates, two of which serve as entrances for the public one on Chet Upon Road, the other near the northwest corner. The temple grounds contain four great Chedi, 91 small Chedi, two belfries, a both or central shrine, a number of vihan or halls, and various buildings such as pavilions, as well as gardens and a small temple museum. Architecturally the Chedi and buildings in the complex are different in style and sizes. A number of large Chinese statues, some of which depict Europeans, are also found in the complex guarding the gates of the perimeter walls as well as other gates in the compound. These stone statues were originally imported as ballast on ships trading with China. Wat Po was also intended to serve as a place of education for the general public. To this end a pictorial encyclopedia was engraved on granite slabs covering eight subject areas history, medicine, health, custom, literature, proverbs, lexicography, and the Buddhist religion. These plagues, inscribed with texts and illustrations on medicine, Thai traditional massage, and other subjects, are placed around the temple. For example, within the Salairai, or satellite open pavilions. Dotted around the complex are 24 small rock gardens or Khao Moor, illustrating rock formations of Thailand. And one, called the Contorting Hermit Hill, contains some statues showing methods of massage and yoga positions. There are also drawings of constellations. On the wall of the library, inscriptions on local administration, as well as paintings of folk tales and animal husbandry. The temple complex, Pa Obusat, or both, is the ordination hall, the main hall used for performing Buddhist rituals, and the most sacred building of the complex. The exterior balustrade surrounding the main hall has around 150 depictions in stone of the epic, Ramakyan, the ultimate message of which is transcendence from secular to spiritual dimensions. The stone panels were recovered from a temple in Ayutthaya. The Obosat is enclosed by a low wall called Kamphiang Kyo, which is punctuated by gateways guarded by mythological lions, as well as eight structures that house by Sema, stone markers that delineate the sacred space of the both. Parabiang. This double cloister contains around 400 images of Buddha from northern Thailand, selected out of the 1,200 originally brought by King Rama I. Of these Buddha images, 150 are on the inner side of the double cloister, another 244 images are on the outer side. 
These Buddha figures, some standing and some seated, are evenly mounted on matching gilded pedestals. They were renovated by Rama I, and covered with stucco and gold leaves, to make them look similar. Pa Prong, there are four towers, or Pa Prong, at each corner of the courtyard around the both. Each of the towers is tiled with marble and contains four Khmer-style statues, which are the guardian divinities of the four cardinal points. Pa Mahachedi Si Rachakan, this is a group of four large stupas, each 42 meters high. These four chetas are dedicated to the first four Chukri kings. The first, in green mosaic tiles, was constructed by Rama I to house the remnants of the great Buddha from Ayutthaya which was scorched to remove its gold covering by the Burmese. Pa Mandap, or Ho Tai, is the scripture hall containing a small library of Buddhist scriptures. The building is not generally open to the public as the scriptures, which are inscribed on palm leaves, need to be kept in a controlled environment for preservation. Guarding its entrance are figures called Yak Wat Po or Wat Po's giants, placed in niches beside the gates. The legendary giants stand on both sides of the sheltered gates, these giants are famous from the mythical story of the fight, with Temple of Dawn's giants. The four giants stood holding their weapons and maces. The costume is gold, and is covered by a glass cabinet. Giant body brick pink named Paya Satasun. A green giant named Payakonmer. A light purple giant named Paya Mayarab. The red giant is called Paya Seng Artit. Around Pa Mandap are three pavilions. With mural paintings of the beginning of Ramayana. The reclining Buddha for Buddhasayas, were built by Rama III in 1832. The image of the reclining Buddha represents the entry of Buddha into Nirvana and the end of all reincarnations. The posture of the image is referred to as Sihar Sayas, the posture of a sleeping or reclining lion. The figure is 15 m high and 46 m long, and it is one of the largest Buddha statues in Thailand. The figure has a brick core, which was modeled and shaped with plaster, then gilded. The right arm of the Buddha supports the head with tight curls, which rests on two box pillows encrusted with glass mosaics. The reclining Buddha Papud Tasayas, were built by Rama III in 1832. The image of the reclining Buddha represents the entry of Buddha into Nirvana and the end of all reincarnations. The posture of the image is referred to as Sihasayas, the posture of a sleeping or reclining lion. The figure is 15 meters high and 46 meters long, and it is one of the largest Buddha statues in Thailand. The figure has a brick core, which was modeled and shaped with plaster, then gilded. The right arm of the Buddha supports the head with tight curls, which rests on two box pillows encrusted with glass mosaics. The solace of the feet of the Buddha are 3 meters high, and 4.5 meters long, and inlaid with mother of pearl. They are each divided into 108 arranged panels, displaying the auspicious symbols, by which Buddha can be identified, such as flowers, dancers, white elephants, tigers, and altar accessories. At the center of each foot, is a circle representing a chakra or energy point. There are 108 bronze bowls, in the corridor representing the 108 auspicious characters of Buddha. Visitors may drop coins in these bowls, as it is believed to bring good fortune, and it also helps the monks to maintain the Wat. Thai Massage The temple is considered the first public university of Thailand, teaching students in the fields of religion, science, and literature through murals and sculptures. A school for traditional medicine and massage was established at the temple in 1955, this, the Wat Pho Thai Traditional Medical and Massage School, is the first school of Thai medicine approved, by the Thai Ministry of Education, and one of the earliest massage schools, 
it remains the national headquarters and the center of education of traditional Thai medicine and massage to this day. Courses on Thai massage are held in Wat Po, and these may last a few weeks to a year. Two pavilions at the eastern edge of the Wat Po compound are used as classrooms for practicing Thai traditional massage and herbal massage, and visitors can receive massage treatment here for a fee. The Thai massage or Nuad Thai taught at Wat Pho has been included in UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage, and Wat Pho has trained more than 200,000 massage therapists who practice in 145 countries. There are many medical inscriptions and illustrations placed in various buildings around the temple complex, some of which serve as instructions for Thai massage therapists, particularly those in the North Medical Pavilion. The were inscribed by scholars during the reign of King Rama III. Among these are 60 inscribed plagues, 30 each for the front and back of human body. Showing pressure points used in traditional Thai massage. These therapeutic points and energy pathways, known as Sen, with explanations given on the walls next to the plagues. Management of the Hermit, from original manuscript at Wat Po, contortion is the exercise with stretch and slow movement for body and mind contentment. Contorted Hermit exercise was not only used for body exercise, but also brings about strength, activeness, and relaxation. In addition, it can be applied to cure some simple diseases and bring healthiness. One to support limbs and joints to work nimbly, some exercises will feature massage and caress. Two it makes blood circulate smoothly. It is an exercise which can be done in every manner. Three to prevent diseases and support the long life. Four incorporating with meditation will help improve emotional balance, help detach stress, depression, drowsiness, and also help increase efficiency of breathing. Wat Po is an important landmark in the Ratanakosan Island area. Visitors can enjoy the beautiful Buddhist fine arts, and the existing Thai intellect which has descended from ancient times, taken as immortal careers knowledge. For this reason, Wat Pho is indeed one of the must-visit landmarks in the Bangkok. Stay tuned for the next episode of Wat Arun. Or call Temple of the Dawn. It's absolutely stunning at sunset.